gonna need those for tasting our soup, right? We're gonna need them. We're live, Rose. Say hello, everyone. Hello. We're live on a Tuesday night. It's only four o'clock and it's almost dark outside, which is very depressing. The sun hasn't been out in Chicago since Thursday of last week, so, but it's okay because we're gonna make some dinner right now. Rose Honey Bunny, Arthur T, D Slav, Tess, we're all here in the house. It's been a long day of work, but it's time to relax and make some dinner with everyone. We're gonna make some actually low carb, very clean uh, ramen soup with uh, keto noodles from our first cookbook. Uh, but the recipe is also in the description box. And uh, we're gonna rock it and roll them. I wanna start cooking and hang out. So uh, you know the drill. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. All those lovely things. Say hello, Arthur. Hi, everybody. Good to be here with you. Hi, everybody. Um, and it's Tuesday. I know it's not Fridays with Flav, but uh, Thrive Market wanted to uh, sponsor the uh, live stream and get in the holiday spirit. If you don't know about Thrive Market, you probably heard about them a lot. Basically, everything you would get from the grocery store is on thrivemarket.com, cheaper than the store. Per order, you save about $32 compared to going to the store. And the box comes to your door, and all Flav City fans get the hookup as always, right? I always hook you guys up with discounts. Uh, first time, members get a free gift up to a $24 value. Right now, one of those gifts is a box of grass-fed chomps up there. You'll notice I'm one box short because I gave one away last uh, Sunday to Paul. The Eggman was over. Um, and it's 30 days risk-free, meaning you don't like it. Cancel, get your money back. But I love Thrive Market for groceries, for cleaning items, and for a lot of uh, shampoo and skincare. Fantastic stuff. Check them out. We love Thrive Market. Shaheen is live in the Dubai. Dubai's here. Please let us know where you're watching from. I see Dubai. I see Ray Farrell. Ray Farrell, a.k.a. Harry Carey. Ni nice. Ray got a bunch of... Uh, Cookbook sent his way. The cookbook is still ranking not only a number one bestseller in multiple categories, including art's favorite, Dirt soul food, uh, but it's just doing so well on Amazon, all because of you. This one right here. And then, but today we're going to throw it back and make a recipe from the first cookbook a little bit of healthy, low carb uh, keto ramen. Dirk, how is it going, my friend? Dirk in Appleton, Wisconsin, doing a okay. The Milwaukee Brewer. Sound is good today. We like the sound. Yeah, we were kind of working on some things before we started here. We got Arkansas in the house. We got Indiana, Savina. Ruma, we're making a little bit Sarnia of a... Uh, here. A little Shane. bit of ramen. See, traditional ramen, either from the restaurant or from the packets, is loaded with MSG, tons of sodium. But the MSG is the, is the killer for us because Desi and I are highly allergic to MSG. And actually, it's a traditional ingredient in a lot of ramens. But it makes Desi and I break out and get super like rashy and bad news. MSG in the natural form, listen, this is very important. MSG in the natural form is great. What's natural? Mushrooms have natural MSG. Parmigiano Reggiano, especially when it's aged how much art? 36, 36 months. months. That's right. Thank you. Yes. Um, tomatoes have natural MSG. Man-made chemical MSG is bad. It's bad. That's what messes you up. So stay away from that. Wow, we just got a $20 super Tori! From the Tori Castellano. I bought three of your delicious new cookbooks. One for myself and the other two for Christmas presents. Thank you for keeping us healthy. Thank you so much, Tori. A relative newcomer to live streams. You're so sweet. Thank you for that. And also, cooking this very healthy uh Ramen in two things is going to help. Number one, the, this right here, the Thrive Market Ghee. We're going through this stuff like water. I just ordered some more. A box is on the way. Ghee and the combination with bone broth is going to give this rich umptiousness to the dish. It's going to be great. We reinforce it with shiitake mushrooms. We throw a little bit of these shiitake noodles that rose tossed on the floor. Those are my favorite from the grocery store. Bada bing, bada boom, Mr. Worldwide in the womb, baby. Baby. Rose, can we say a big hello to everyone? Hello, everyone. You didn't even look at them. Come on, Rose. Viviana says, look at everyone here. MSG gives her the most psychedelic dreams. <laughs> nice. Rose, look at everyone there. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. This is butter, your favorite. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying the cooking video with Rose. I'm putting more on YouTube now, but the real home of them is the Flav City Facebook page. There's also a Flav City community page on Facebook. 
I never advertise it, but it's so popular. There's like 33,000 members. You can go join it. And it's a place for you guys, the fans, to kind of discuss. Discuss amongst yourself, as we like to say, right? Uh, talk amongst yourselves. Yes, talk. Shane B, Shane B made your turkey meatballs and uh, feels quite good about himself because much of a fast food person so the fact that actually made turkey meatballs is quite the thing apparently Fa do you Where raise you your hand if you dude? saw the facebook video this morning of rose and i making spaghetti and meatballs last night Woo, those were good we used the trader joe's pasta we made grass-fed meatballs with rayos and primal kitchen alfredo sauce whoa, 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 you are, young lady ray yeah. says that the christmas cookies turned out great i saw that ray and some some people are saying that your sound is distorted so <laughs> Yes. Ah! Rose and Mommy's Christmas cookie recipe is bomb. Dot com. This is it right here. There's still a few remnants. Look at these cooks. Gingerbread Rem remnants. cooks. Little bit. These are amazing. Lily's white chocolate sugar glaze. Uh, a little bit of funfetti. That's sugar-free keto. And the whole recipe can be keto if you swap out maple syrup with keto maple syrup. It's uh, unbelievable. Super chat here, five dollars from Cena. We stream your videos onto our TV. Hey, and my eight-month-old daughter yes. Haley loves to talk to Rose and gets upset when she doesn't come out of the TV. <laughs> you guys. Well, Haley, hello. I'm so glad you watched. Can you say hi to Haley, Rose? Can you say hi? Yeah, this is a mushroom, shiitake mushroom. But with shiitakes, you got to get rid of the stem because the stem is really inedible. But the flavor of shiitakes, the shit taki is bananas. B a n a n a n a. Uh, are you a fan of chia seeds? Don't hear you talking about it much. It's funny you say that. I am a fan of them. We just made for Rostini for breakfast chia seed pudding. Search on Google Flav City chia seed pudding. Also in in the, oh, that's for breakfast. That's for breakfast, sweetie. In the first cookbook, we have a recipe for that too. So, Rose, I have a question for you. For this recipe, could you use white butt white button mushrooms if you wanted to? What do you think? Well, yes, you could, but button mushrooms are just boring. They don't have much flavor. If you want to step it up a notch or kick it up a notch, as Emerald would do, a you would notch. get you would get these. These are baby Bella or baby Portobello cremini mushrooms. But I like to cut baby. Yeah, these are babies. See, baby Bellas. I like to cut them with shiitake. So look at the difference here, Art. This is shiitake. Don't put it in your mouth, it's dirty, Rosie. These are baby Bellas. Very, very flavorful. The price difference for these is a little more expensive. The price difference for this compared to white, barely any more expensive. I would highly recommend getting it. You're gonna are like the way it looks. Organic mushrooms a must. No, they're not. You don't need to get organic. You saw, what did you see in there? Did you see the chia seed pudding? Do you want some chia seed pudding? Yeah? Tess, do you mind uh, helping here with some chia seed? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, chia seed pudding is just a mixture of any kind of milk you want. Everyone say hi to Tess. Any kind of milk you want, whether that's almond milk, coconut milk, cow's milk, pea milk, chia seed. Uh, it's lower left-hand corner in a measuring cup. And then a little bit of flavoring like maple syrup, is cinnamon, the, and you're done. Is the tea available? Um, a new shipment of tea just came in. It will be available for sale, I'm guessing, Thursday or Friday. Shipments went out on Saturday to everyone who ordered it, so you'll be getting it any second now. Milwaukee Brewer says, hi, Tess, with a tea. <laughs> nice. Uh, D Brown, Dirk made the chicken nuggets. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Oh, nice. I hope all your son liked them. The McDonald's McNuggets that Rose and I made are bonkersly good. Bonkersly good. Yeah, so the Shane, key to it. this is we're going to cook the base of this recipe down a lot. I really want to get that natural flavor out of the shiitakes. Now, if you want it to be very frugal, you would save the stumps, like that uh, Seinfeld oh, episode. Yeah. You donated the stumps of the muffin to the homeless? They don't want your stumps. Top of the muffin. To you. <laughs> you would make a vegetable stock out of the stumps, some other vegetable scrapper tins. Sure, Troyer in the house. Char from Michiana, Michigan, one of the administrators of the Flav City Facebook group. If you want to join, Char will allow you to join. Got an email. The t-shirts are on the way, Viviana. That was quick. That was only like, what, not even two weeks? Fantastico. Love to hear that. I look forward to a picture of Viviana with a Flav City t-shirt, a lime marita, and cheese balls. There we go. Uh, Alexis Fuentes asks, what is the Facebook group name? 
Uh, it's just the Flav City Facebook group. It should come up if you Is search it private? That. It's private? Uh, yeah, you got to be approved. To, uh, you got to be Bobby approved? You got to be Bobby approved to join it. Do I like chia seed with baby bells? I don't know what baby, baby bells Bella. is. Baby bellas? Baby, uh, baby bells and chia seed, maybe not the best combination? I don't know. What do you think, Rose? Have you seen the shiitake, shiitake noodles ramen bowl? Is it Bobby approved? I haven't seen that. I wonder where that is, Tatiana. The white chocolate chips turn hard after being in the microwave for the cookies. How can I prevent this? Arthur, how can she do it? Don't cook it too long. Yeah, you got to go minimal, minimal melt time. I'd say 20 seconds, stop, mix them, 20 seconds more, you're done. Shar Schroyer, $15. Happy holidays. Thank you, Shar. Thank you, Shar Schroyer. Such the a house. sweetheart. Thank you, Shar. Okay, so I got onions and mushrooms in there. Mikula family got second cookbook today. Nice. Love to hear that, Mikula. If you want to get the new cookbook, which is still ranking incredibly well and a bestseller still, just use my Amazon link down below or search Flav City on, uh, on uh, the old Amazon. But this is the first book here. All right, in this book right here, Rose was in Desi's belly right there. This is all keto. This one, Rose is here. It's not all keto. It's just clean eating, couple keto recipes, a lot of paleo recipes. All the links are down there. And including, oh, I want to show you. Come back here, Art. So something I've been getting a lot of on Thrive Market are vitamins. Vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D. Those three, if you hear me talking about it on Flav City Instagram, are vitally important for your immune system. This right here is one of the best vitamin C powders on the market because a lot of times vitamin C will be from ascorbic acid. That's not a good quality vitamin C. This is acerola, camacamu, and amla. It's a powder. You take two teaspoons every day. It's fantastic. It's actually more expensive on Amazon. Get it on Thrive Market. I combine it with this zinc from Mega Food, which has some greens in there that are organic, and this vitamin code raw D from Garden of Life with a bunch of organic greens is fantastic and then obviously i get my collagen in there for my bones and my joints and my ghee this is a must in the winter time those three i think are the immune boosting bundle so when you try thrive market underneath the video right here click on my link this is a link that gets you a free gift when you sign up keep in mind if for some reason you don't love thrive market it's 30 days risk free you can cancel and get your membership feedback but this is great also down here is the recipe, the new cookbook. Look at this link here. Flake City Hand Lotion. What the heck is this? There's a super chat, and then I'll tell you. What do we got, Art? We got Milwaukee Brewer with a $5 super chat. Do you have much experience with induction cooktops? Uh, Milwaukee, I don't. And I don't. I love gas, um, so I don't have much experience. Do you, Art? Uh, I've used them a bit. Not much. Yeah. What are you having a hard time with, uh, Milwaukee Brewer? We had those at the bake shop in Kendall because ah. they didn't really have gas in there. They work well. They boil water pretty fast. Shelly Hunter, $5 hotter. Got my new Flav City cookbook last week. Can't wait to use it. Thanks, Bobby Des Rosenart. Thank you, Shelly. Um, if you have got the new cookbook, please leave an Amazon review. Super, super important for uh, the Amazon search ranking. My girl, Jill Chofsky, she tried to leave an Amazon review and they blocked it. They said, this is a biased review. It's like, excuse me, you can't block Jill Chofsky. Very, very weird. Um, Look at this, Art. This is designed by Desi. It's called Obsessed with Zest. It's a limited edition essential oil lotion from us and Way of Will. Way of Will is the company that makes those clean, clean, clean deodorants. We did a special edition with Erica also of Flav City Obsessed with Zest because I am obsessed with citrus. This has lemon oil, orange oil, grapefruit, and cedar wood. There's no chemicals, no parabens, no harsh irritants. This is awesome stuff. My link is down there. Use Flav City for 20% off. And Erica got her one here. This is a sweet holiday season with peppermint. Really cool stuff. And my hands are dry as can be from washing them all the time. So you might want to grab that too. Can you make a healthy charcuterie board video for the holidays? Hmm. That's an interesting one. I'll look into is, it. Is there a preferred place that you'd like us to use when purchasing the new cookbook? Oh uh, yeah, my Amazon, uh, either my Amazon shop page or anytime I show you a link like this. So anytime I show you a link like that, that's my Amazon affiliate. So I'll get like a 
2% uh, commission, but it tracks back to me. Or you can just go to my Amazon shop page, which has all of my uh, kitchen gear on there, which is amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. Thank you for asking. Okay, so we have mushrooms and onions in there. Do you read garlic book and reviews ginger. on Amazon? Do I read them? Yeah. I do, I do. I go through and read them. So far, so good. 4.9 out of 5. Viviana. Let's see. Suggestions on how not to taste the collagen. I'm trying to put it in warm or cold tea, but I have to chug it as I don't care for the taste. Well, see now, this is unflavored. There still is a mild flavor, but I put it in my organic uh, green tea every morning. I can't taste it. So as long as you put it in tea or coffee, I think you're good to I go. I can taste it. You can taste it? My second cup of coffee is better than the first. First oh. one's very Oh, coffee. interesting, <laughs> interesting. Um, and this is the Flav City immune tea we were talking about. Uh, we had shipping delays because of Corona and the strike, but all the orders got shipped out on Saturday. We're getting 2,000 new units on Thursday. It'll be available at shopflavcity.com. This is my immune tea boosting powder made with best in class ingredients. So I'm very excited for that. Okay, let's chop some garlic. Is my garlic on the floor, Rose? My garlic and ginger on the floor. And these are what's going to make it keto. Check it out, Art. Check it out, Art. The Funk Soul Brother. Those are my favorite shirataki noodles. You can find them at Whole Foods and uh, Walmart. They're great because the texture is really nice. And they're loaded with fiber. So they're actually a prebiotic. So in addition to being low carb, tons of gut-friendly fiber in there. When's the app coming out? I'm getting so many emails because the cookbook says uh, download the Flav City app, but it's not out yet. And so everyone's like, I don't see it in the app store. It's like, oh, we didn't realize it'd be so much work. What do you need, Rose? What does she want? What's up? What do you need? Huh? You need something, my dear? Hmm? Are you still eating your uh, chia seed, sweet pea? We got the kale hacker here. Oh, uh, nuts. Making red lentil spaghetti and homemade sauce tonight. Oh, nice in that. Um, by the way, Shaheen wants to know if the international shipping is available for the tea yet. Um, Shaheen, I don't know. I know for Canada it's going to be available. I'm not sure uh, beyond that. I'll have to ask Erica. But that's a good question. Oh, we got a super chat from Crystal Rosario, four ninety nine. We thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. Um, the signed cookbooks are actually all lined up right there. Art's going to sign the uh, rest today, and they're going out tomorrow. And they take about seven days with media mail. Let's go on, Charmin Rama. We got an order from Israel. Inball ordered one from Israel. I got one from uh, Canada. Art didn't say hi. Art, go selfie. He did say hi. All right, I said hi. He said, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, Art. Here. Hi, Dr. Nick. Ah, oh, how's everybody doing today? Now that I'm here, I think I'll stay a while. So, yeah, uh, stay there. No, nah, maybe not. <laughs> Art and I actually just shot a really long video that will get edited down, but it's a video called When to Use Different Pots and Pans, How to Cook with Them, How to Clean Them, and How to Care for Them. So we took stainless steel, non-stick, both uh, Teflon and uh, ceramic, and cast iron. And I told you when to use each one, how to do it, how to clean it, and then we did recipes for each pan to know how to utilize each one. The cooking part took forever, but the video is going to be great. It's coming out Friday, and it's sponsored by uh, Tramontina because they have this fantastic uh, stainless steel triply pan with a great deal. So if you need a stainless steel pan, which I think everyone needs one, hang on for that video on Friday. All right, what I, size is your chopping board? 18 by 24. I highly recommend it. Just go to my Amazon shop page, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, and it's there. Although I kept getting a, a tongue twister on the video. I couldn't say tri-ply pan. So I'd be like, oh, this great stainless steel tri-ply pan. Tri I couldn't do it. Lynn Bestwick, go to Costco, get their Telecherry black peppercorns. That's get what I have right here. Deal. Well, she's asking uh, yeah. where, where she can buy peppercorns. Yeah. Some of yours don't say Telecherry. Yeah, I wouldn't know what happened. I need to buy more, actually. See, the Costco one's great for uh, black peppercorns. But it used to say Telecherry. If it's not Telecherry, it's crap. It's crap. Oh, people are like raving about the beard. Thank you all. Nice. It'll the ladies stay, are liking on Instagram, the beard, too. The beard will stay for a while. Our ladies are liking it. Maybe forever. I don't know. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to put a few more mushrooms in here. 
How do you wash your cutting board? Hot soap and water? Hot soap and water. And then maybe once a month I season it or condition it with uh, conditioner and shampoo. No, a little bit of uh, mineral oil, which I need to do because these are pretty dry. mystery oil? Mystery oil, yeah. It's only if the mystery oil is from booze. It's yeah, so this is not a, a mystery to them. They know what it is. Yes. This is a cherry board, cherry wood board, and I really like it. They make maple too, but it's too white for me. It's too uh, light. And they make uh, walnut, which is too dark. I have them all in the back, but I love cherry wood the best. What's up, Ellen girl? Welcome. Ellen girl! Okay. Renee Denim. Jack, you had them Spiegel here somewhere. Hello, Jack's got the, got the book, I think, right, Jax? Renee got the book. All that good stuff. So, in the pan for the keto, healthy, comfort ramen, right now is red onions, shiitake mushrooms, and cremini mushrooms. I add a little bit of garlic, and then in a minute, we're going to go in with some uh, ginger. I don't want to add the ginger too soon, because it's going to burn, baby, burn. We don't need no... The water, let, water the, let the burn. Mm, <laughs> burn, mm, burn. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this means, Gochu Jang. He says, Art, your beard is very Yukon Cornelius. I don't know what that means either. I don't know. So let's just peel the garlic or the uh, ginger with a spoon. And then I'll grate some of it. Fresh ginger is lovely. And then we'll cook the ramen with bone broth. Let it simmer. Throw in maybe some kale at the end, a little bit of sesame oil and seasonings. It's what done. Beef? A little, yeah, a little beef. We have, so we cook so much food because for the cast iron pan, how to cook and care for it. I wanted to make a steak and show you how to clean it. For the stainless steel pan, I made pork fried rice. For the non-stick pan, I made a French omelet. So we are cooking a lot. It's a character in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I didn't oh, know that. I guess wow. I have to rewatch that movie. Should I only have the tea once a day? Yeah, Johnny Boy, once a day. I'd say five, six days a week, max. What if I want to drink it like all day? Um, it can't hurt you. Oh, can't? Okay, good. Can't hurt you, no. I just wouldn't do that if you're pregnant because too much turmeric could be bad. That should be good. That's why I love the microplaner for the uh, ginger. All right, guys, if you're just joining, please leave a comment down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. Hey. Hey, thank you. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> where are we going? With we're in Sweet Home Chicago. We're making ramen soup. A very easy one-pot wonder that's perfect for a chilly Chicago day. We're cooking it in the big La Crusade with a big old spoonful of ghee. Ghee. Uh, umami rich mushrooms, bone broth. Yes, now we're talking, homie. Amira's in the house. Amira Mongolia. Your book is being sent out tonight, Amira. I saved a bunch for Art to uh, sign. Some people will get a rose signature too if she stays up later on. Oak Forest is watching. Well then. What does Bobby think of freshly? They're supposed to be gluten free, and we tried a few meals, but it had some canola oil. It was expeller Ooh. pressed, though. Um, there is one of the meal kits that's strictly USDA organic. Which one is that? That's the one I like the best. I mean, I don't like any of the meal kits necessarily, but there is one that is 100% across the board organic. Bobby, do you have a wok? I don't have a walk. That's one thing I need when I get a bigger house and we move into that. I think if you need a, if you have a walk though, you have to have a burner that's designed to give the kind of. Well, I'll get a jet engine. Put that on the list too. No, no, don't put that on the list. I'm joking. You the actual, the burner for the walk. Okay. Because you need some walk hay. Yeah, I need some walk hay. Yeah, I, I used to have one that my mom used, but then it got lost in the shuffle. Um, but all right, what's going on? Speaking of walk hay, so the mushrooms, the onions, the garlic, and now the ginger are cooking. But what do you call this stuff on the bottom of the pot, Art? That's called yum-yums. Art calls them yum-yums. I call them sticky bits. The French call it fond. But it's delicious because when I add the uh, bone broth, it's going to completely unleash the fury, Mitch. Good yeah. stuff. Alan Girl says, Art, hope all is well. Last I was here, the topic was your beard. I see not much has changed. <laughs> 
Yeah, Bobby's actually thinking about forcing me to change because he thinks it's overshadowing the show. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the beard gets too much talk. Just kidding. Uh, Fozzie was like, hey. And Macaulay Culkin was like, oh. I'm going to get some bone broth. Look how cute these gingerbread are. Gluten-free paleo gingerbread men. I mean, come on. And then gluten-free uh, Christmas cookies with no added sugar white chocolate chip icing and no added sugar sprinkles. Insane in the membrane! Insane in the brain! Huh. Rudolph, everyone's saying, uh, does, your, does your beard have an only, only fans? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> or sorry, it doesn't. Hi, Rose! I distinguish myself from my beard. Mm, Two separate what are you going entities. for, sweetie? What are you going for as soon as she sees this open? This is the stuff we use for the sprinkles. These are the... Check it out, Art. These are the cutest Geraldina, sprinkles. Geraldina, I suggest you use Bobby's link. Go to his Amazon store and order the book there. Yeah. Click the link in the description box down there. Are you going for the coconut cream today? Somebody mentioned making the cookies and using Lily's white chocolate, and the Lily's white chocolate was giving them a stomach ache. They're wondering if other people have it. It's because you're sensitive to erythritol and stevia. That's mm. why. So you're better off than just getting uh, another one. Daddy needs this one, Rosie. But Ooh. they don't make many low sugar, or no added sugar. We got somebody uh, white from France chips. who is correcting uh, what you said. Tell me. Well, the problem is I don't know how to pronounce see. any of this properly. So, fondre, fond is to melt. The metal that the pot is made of is fonte. So, hello from France. Interesting. So, I learned something, but I don't know how to pronounce either of them. I apologize because I butchered it. I know it because there's so many letters you just don't. Wait, so what? It, fond is what now? Um. Where did message go? Crap. Because I've always heard other chefs. down, and that's the problem. Now that's okay. We'll it. look it up. Fondre? I don't know. Or we'll do look you, it up. Or do you not pronounce the D-R and the E? Never. Oh, you got to pronounce Dre. <laughs> don't forget about Dre. Uh, bonjour, mon ami. Bon Je m'appelle Robert. Je Je <laughs> so now I'm adding the bone broth. I'm actually adding a bone broth, but this one's the uh, buttered chicken one. Just to get some more flavor in there. We've been getting so much from Kettle and Fire with my promo code that I haven't been making it as much, but I should because I really enjoy. Sina says, fun fact, swilling the pan you have means twin in German. Ah! And Alan Gross says, fond means base in French. Hmm. Wait, but I thought we do a Big Lots haul sometime. I think he did. We did already. Search Flav City Big Lots. When in doubt, just search it. Oh, Gocha Jang wants you to check your email because he sent a picture of Yukon Cornelius. Okay. Oh, you know what? Gocha Jang. Why don't I just take a little spoonful? Oh, oh goju jang. I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to ruin it. I signed your book last night, and then I took my finger in the goju jang and swiped it. So when you open your book, you're like, what is that? I think you probably know. Is that Amazon? Amazon. Let's see. Let's see. I'll say UPS. Hello. Hello, UPS. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Score one for dead. I just like to say Amazon. <laughs> Uh, Alan Girl has a quick question about Rose's Dyson. Yes. Rose, are you able to answer the question? <laughs> does it actually work? Um, it does, but barely. Like, it has a mild suction, but it's from Pottery Barn Kids. Because we bought one from Amazon for, like, 30 bucks, but it didn't even work at all. This one, you pull the trigger, and it works. Okay. So a little bit of goju jang in there, a little bit of salt. Where can I buy those sprinkles? Uh, it's on my Amazon shop page. I put it at the very bottom. Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City has all that good stuff. And then also has uh, all my kitchen gear is on there in the cookbook. Um, so welcome. We got a big pot here. Welcome to the 1,000 people watching right oh, now. 1,000 people, very here. nice. That's what you should have said. Yeah, welcome to the 1,000 people. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. If you feel like sharing the stream, share it over to your Facebook page. Uh, we got a pot of uh, beautiful Share it with your politicians, too. <laughs> <laughs> Low-carb ramen soup, shiitake mushrooms, ginger, garlic. We're going to throw in keto noodles now there's a lot of keto shiitake noodles pasta zero is my favorite nab it at uh, whole foods or at uh, walmart and it only has you guys net carbs four because there's two times two servings four grams of carbs for eight ounces but it also has six grams of fiber in the entire package this is amazing stuff for your gut. Really good stuff. Casey Nicole, the super chat, four ninety nine, and a question that's going to make your wrist hurt. Yes. I might have missed this if I 
if it was said earlier, but are you signing books ordered on Amazon today? Oh, no, I don't have any uh, control of those. Those ship from some warehouse that my publisher has. Uh, that was only for uh, signed copies from uh, my website, but we sold out uh, last Friday. I might have some more uh, coming up. But, uh, um, have you ever used Buddha's hand Citron for anything you cook? No, I think those it's are very funky. interesting, but I've never used it. Yeah, it's one of those things I've seen it, but I, I think you zest it. That's all you can do. Greetings from Deutschland. Guten Abend. So we have to season our broth more to make it more ramen esque because traditional ramen is cooked about 48 or 24 hours. Sometimes they put pork fat into it and it cooks so long it emulsifies into the broth. We ain't going to do that, but I am going to use this. Organic brown rice miso, fermented miso paste, offers funk, offers umame. So I'm trying to build my own umame. What'd you say about my mame? Uh, with my ingredients here. Miso and shiitake mushrooms. Umame, natural MSG bombs, or good, good stuff, right? So I think my recipe calls for, this is from the first cookbook, and the, the recipe, by the way, is in the description box. If you so wanna make it, it- Is it safe to say that's not miso? Like, doesn't miso have to be made from soy? Uh, technically, okay. yes. Thank you, Art. Uh, recipe's right there, too, underneath my Thrive Market promo code. The cookbook's right here, and the Flav City hand lotion is right there. Use a, a promo code Flav City for 20% off. This stuff is really good. Essential oil. I need, what does this say here, Arthur? Uh, two quarts. So I didn't do two quarts. I probably just did like uh, a quart and a half, four tablespoons of miso. Will you be doing more signed cookbooks down the road? I would say yes. Yes, I will. So let's just put MSG on. bomb. Uncle Roger would probably approve. Who's Uncle Roger? Who's Uncle Raj? I keep thinking like it's one of those guys from uh, the family guy, like the guy with the shotgun and like the. Oh, I was thinking of glasses. Roger from What's Happening. Hey, hey, hey. You know that one? Oh, yeah. Rerun, Roger, all that stuff. Yeah, actually, I don't think he had a shotgun. I think I'm combining him with Elmer Fudd. Let's see. I just bought miso broth. Nice, Deborah. So is it pronounced swilling or zwilling? Do we know? Somebody once told us swilling. But then I thought the German said, no, it's not swilling. It's zwilling. Did you talk to a German? If you're German, is it zwilling or swilling? So I thought Art told me swilling and then a German corrected I me. recited what that person said. Okay. What somebody said who claimed oh, to know so German. Oh, so Sina's German. Hard Z. Zwilling. Thank you, Sina. Then we got to go back and watch whatever footage that was to find out who said it. and like Pull it up right now. Danke, Sina. Appreciate that. Wait, wait, wait. Sina says there's no sh. Yeah, it's, it's z zwilling. So zwilling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's Z Paws Willing. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, Alan Girl says, where's Adrian when we need him? Yo, Adrian! Could you add some mirin to the ramen? Um, yes, it'd be a nice sweetness to it. So let's talk about flavorings, right? We need sweet, salty, spicy, sour. So how am I going to get those flavors? And maybe some nuttiness. So I'm going to come into here. Lala Girl's in the house. Sir, hey, what up, Diana? Spice. Right there. Uh, Lemon, according to Goethe Journey. How about hoisin for sweetness? Uh, Dr. Med style reviews, I can answer that question for you. We don't have BJs around here. That's why you don't see Bobby. Yeah, we Dome. don't have that. Tamari for salt. And then for sour. Do I have a lime in here? Let's see. Oh, I've got a Use super chat here from Maritza Castello. $5. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Rose, honey. I will read the Oh, voice. baby. Baby Baba. Is that baby? Huh? Baby Baba. Yeah. Baby. Five dollars. Hi. I've used bonafide bone broth in the past. Is this as good as well? Is this good as well? Yeah. Also, as a staple in your diet, has almond flour ever been hard to digest? Um, no, not for me. Uh, I know some people might have a hard time with it. Um, but yeah, bonafide is good stuff too. Absolutely. What do you see, Harris? Oh, you put baby in there. Is that baby Baba? Oh, I thought she put baby in the refrigerator. Yeah, no. He likes it cold. Yeah, that's right. Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Can you close the door, Rose, for Daddy? Thank you, my love. Ah, uh, put a little rice wine vinegar in there because I don't have lime. Does Bobby still suggest Baja oils? I don't. Baja oils? Have I ever talked about that? I don't know. I, I don't. That name doesn't ring a bell. You can ring my. What? I was singing it softly. You can ring my bell. Oh. Does he 
hates that song. It drives her crazy. So sometimes Art and I sing it. She's like, stop it. Put together a playlist of songs. So a little bit of like. salt from Tamori. A little bit of spice. That's Anita Ward, Art. What are we talking about now? From Sriracha. A little bit of sweet funk from Hoisin, which normally is dirty, but these guys from Coconut Secret make an amazing Hoisin, which is like Chinese barbecue sauce. And already, look at the broth. It kind of has that beautiful, funky color to it. I might add a little more bone oh, broth. Ring my bell. There's a neat award. Oh, thank, thank you. you thank you, Goju. I've never heard of that singer's name. Me neither. We gotta whisper oh, it though. The song. And then a little bit of because I think last year Walmart was no, using it. More than one year. Two year, a couple of years ago, they were using it as a big commercial campaign. And every time it came on, Jesse's like, mute, mute it, mute it, mute it, mute it. It's like ridiculous, dude. Love I'm gonna get one more uh, bone broth. I'm actually running low. I just placed an order. Uh, you know what? I'll just use water. I don't want to waste all of our bone broth. Why do you keep the tamari in the pantry, especially when it says <laughs> must be refrigerated? Because I'm a rebel. I'm an outlaw. A little bit of water. There we go. Uh, I tried Bobby's Walmart recommended Vermont Village apple cider vinegar, and I took a straight shot, and my throat won't forgive me. Does Bobby do a straight shot? Or make no, it you put it in four ounces of water. You got to dilute it. I mean, it's bad you, for your teeth too. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not terrible per se, but water. Do it in four ounces of the water in the morning. That's is how we do it, right? If you take it straight, I've heard the acid in the. And vinegar is bad for your teeth. I can you see that. Every day. Every day, yeah. I'll eat away your teeth. Like, my my tummy feels really good, but I ain't got no teeth. Okay. That's what's going on. This is going to be great in 30 minutes, right? Why is it going to be great? Bone broth, cooking with mushrooms, cooking with ghee, cooking with hoisin, fermented miso, uh, it's just going to be delicious. We just got to check for seasoning and that's it. I'm going to read a question from Mr. Jango. First, I'm going to ask him a question. Okay. Based upon this one and many other questions he's had. Go to Jang. Do you ever refer to Whole Foods as Whole Foods? Or do you always just pronounce them also as WFM? You always write WFM. So now to the question. I just wonder if he goes, I'm going shopping at WFM. I'll bet he does not say WFM. Okay. Has Bobby used any of the frozen bone broths that WFM carries? Um... Negatory. I haven't. But I think they keep their bare bones in the freezer. That's another good one. Bonafide bare bones is good. Kettle and fire is good. I like them all. He says it's just shorter. Emily Burt says $6.99 Canadian Super Chat. Homemade bone broth has changed my life. LOL. Happy holidays. Amazing. Desi's friend was here this weekend and she spent a lot of time in Bulgaria and at her parents house they hunt wild boar and they would slaughter it up and then make bone broth every day or every week out of the bones and that's the most amazing thing so homemade is great the second best thing to homemade is something like kettle and fire it's a game changer because when you're cooking when you're cooking with bone broth it changes the flavor and texture of any recipe which is why i use it in the five ingredient semi homemade cookbook because when you only have five ingredients you got to make each ingredient count but the health benefits of bone broth, and this is not a joke, is amazing. Great for your immune system, great for your gut, great for your skin, hair, teeth, nails, and joints. As you get older, your joints start to wear down. That helps rebuild the collagen between your joints. It's amazing. Earthling Fitz, I want to thank you for all of your hard work and helping me to make great food decisions. But more importantly, thanks BP, DP, AA, and RP. <laughs> for being great role models for values-based wholesome living. Wow, thank you so much. I'm happy that my cheese ball eating inspired you. That's really nice of you to say that. Thank you. So in the new cookbook, we have a chapter called It's All About That Broth. And there is a recipe for five ingredient bone broth. And we tell you just roast the bones, cook it for either uh, three hours in a pressure cooker or 24 hours on a stove top. But you can use that for recipes like the red tight scallop soup when you combine the Thai curry paste like we did last week with the bone broth, it's great red lentil curry stew. Bone broth, curry, uh, kale and lentils, Italian wedding soup, and a few other ingredients in the cookbook call for bone broth. Unbelievable stuff. So that's why in the book, it's not only about five ingredient recipes, it's about all my shopping knowledge. Is in here telling you exactly how to shop and what to get at the grocery store and why. So I think you're gonna love it. It seems to be doing very well. Use my Amazon link in the description box or just search Flav City on Amazon. Grab a copy, leave an Amazon review. We are very much appreciative. Carol Dew with a $5 super chat. Where can I find Coconut Secret? Love you guys and thanks for all you do. Thank you, uh, Whole Foods.
Thrive Market has a little bit, but Whole Foods has the full spectrum of has that. Has Bobby ever made homemade vanilla? Uh, no, but we should. It's so easy. Put you, just, in a bottle. you just put in a bottle of booze, Vodka. right? So you get some of Grandpap is moonshine and stick a vanilla bean in there, son. That's it. Probably more than just a bean. Yes. A bunch of them. Rachel. Vanilla. Vanilla. Rachel Murray. I almost called you vanilla. <laughs> $25 super chat. Hi, family. Bobby. I sent you an email Ooh. with a picture of the apple coffee cake I made on Sunday. The crowd loved it and would never have guessed it's pale. I love it, Rachel. That apple coffee cake, first of all, Desi and Rose made it on Facebook and people loved it. It's a game changer. I'm super happy to hear that, Rachel. I'll check it in a minute. Uh, Ryan, any thoughts about an air fryer or instant pot recipes? I love the instant pot. Air fryer, I'm not a huge fan of. They're big. They take up space. They're Teflon coated. I would pass. We got a two-pound super chat from ah. Monica Manictala. Marine collagen versus bovine collagen. Shampoo versus conditioner, I say to you. <laughs> Thank you for that, Lonika. Um, bovine, grass-fed bovine is better, but if you can't find it or for religious reasons you can't have beef, marine is good. If you're vegan, Sun Warrior makes a plant-based vegan uh, collagen that's not bad either. How long do those noodles last in the fridge? I'll, me love you a long time. A long, long time. Uh, let's see here. May 21. You got time. You got, you got time. You know Jake, we're not doing them tonight. We're going to save them until May 20th. What's that song they sing from The Wedding Singer? It takes time to heal my broken heart. <laughs> the heck was that? Someone knows. Do you really want to hurt me? That's the beginning part of it. Were those the lyrics? Yeah. I don't know. I probably made it up. Someone... It's going to end up on Instagram with uh, Viviana. It's going to be the mix She's already talking about all the options for the mixtape. <laughs> Maybe whatever that lady's name was, that singer that I didn't know. Oh, somebody yeah. Kill the one you didn't know. <laughs> Ellen also says, somebody kill me. That was a different song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ellen hates when I sing, right? Let's have some cashews, Rose. Here. Uh, take right, please take control of this live. <laughs> <laughs> boy George. Yeah, Boy George. There you go. Here, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just didn't think those were the lyrics, but... I mean, and the melody was a little, a little pitchy, dog. In the beginning, it was, and then it got pretty solid. You gotta admit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Cashews are good. Alan girl is uh, dissenting. She said, "What? I've never hated anything. What are you talking about?" Oh, I, I thought it was Alan girl. Maybe it's someone else. Um, one more shout out. Um, this is the Flav City hand lotion, made with super high quality essential oils. The company Way of Will, who I do promotions with for their um, deodorant, they asked me and Erica each to come up with our own line. This is what Desi did. It's obsessed with the zest. Lemon, orange, grapefruit, and cedar wood. All with essential oils. No parabens. No crap in there. Cedar Use my link in the description box. Cedarwood Road. Exactly. Use Flav City promo code. The stuff is great. It's only around for the holidays and then it's gone. Doppelganger time. Bobby kind of looks like Lionel Messi. Oh my God, I've never heard that before. Not when Bobby's on the soccer field. He doesn't have the skills. <laughs> have you seen me on the soccer field? No, but I'm assuming. Uh, you know what you know, happens, happens when you assume? assume. Sometimes, Sometimes you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, go to Jang. OMG, 30 people left after Bobby's solo. <laughs> Adrian says, uh, Bobby, partner with Aldi so I can get your products in Germany as well. Good idea. Guten Abend, Adrian. Uh, Shane, yes, I've seen the Bearded Brothers at Walmart. Unbelievable quality. Bobby approved for a shawl. What is the best vegetable milk to drink? I watch your videos, but one you recommend is not selling Canada. The best ones are Malk, Thrive Market, or Elmhurst Milk. Those three are fantastic. Malk is top shelf, like to drink. Uh, another good one to drink is uh, Three Trees. For smoothies, that Rose loves, right? You love your smoothies. They're so good. Thrive Market or Elmahurst. Because most almond milks at the store are loaded, literally loaded with oils and emulsifiers and barely any almonds. Every time you say three trees, I think, isn't there 80s song, These Dreams? I don't know. Yeah. That's a Viviana question. Thrive Market. This 34-ounce package is 250 ish there's only one emulsifier. It's sunflower lecithin. Instead of guar gum, acacia gum, xanthan gum, this is good because it's not going to disrupt your gut. 
Grab it on Thrive Market along with my favorite stuff, the vitamin C powders, uh, using my promo link down below. 30 days risk-free, free gift for signing up. Thrive Market is the bee's knees because the box comes to your door and everything on Thrive Market is cheaper than the grocery store. Bee's dreams by heart. I see. Who said that? Uh, Goju Jang. Nice, Goju. Nice. Yeah, I know there's First no Thrive in Canada. It's such a bummer. Adrian, question for you. Do you pronounce the Z, the hard Z, or the S in Zwilling? We I thought we already settled paper. that. Well, Adrian wasn't in the house. A Alan Girl invoked Adrian's name saying it would be nice if Adrian was here. He could settle this one. But uh, now he's here. So we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Hard Z, Zwilling. There you go. Thank you, Adrian. Yeah, Adrian, we talked about this previously, right? So, yeah, you can use. Someone said, Art, can you use this pasta like spaghetti? Can I show you something cool? Can you? You can and you will. Nice. Because here's what you do. From the cooking. From the very first cookbook, which is still a bestseller, thanks to you, you go to the noodles chapter. Where is that? Zoodles? I have an amazing recipe. Well, here's stir fry noodles and vegetable, but the recipe I was going to talk about. Let's, here we go. This is one. This is the three-hour bolognese tossed in shirataki. It uh, will be mine. Oh, yes. It will be mine. Shirataki uh, fettuccine. We'll make that soon, I promise. Thank you, Adrian. Don't Here's what the ramen looks like. So, yeah, you can use it just like pasta, but you have to cook the moisture out of the noodles, and i tell you exactly how to do that. See, right here. Pesto pasta. you got to cook it in a nonstick pan to get the moisture out of there. Because unlike the water boy, we look so young here. This is literally two years ago. We look 10 years younger. Crazy. Okay, let me check my soup for seasoning because it's definitely going to need a little something something. Right, Roasty? Roasty, my sweet. Come back there here. There was a debate going on. And on this topic, there can be a no a debate. This looks like a soup that's been cooking for two hours, Rose. But it's only been cooking for literally Having 10 minutes. a child ages you, says Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So It's funny. Well, the lack of sleep does, yeah. That's, that's true. true. This looks good, right? Very, very tasty. And then it gets better the next day when it cools down. It gelatinizes from all the bone broth in there. I'll say it's going to need more salt and more, more, more salt in the form of tamari and maybe more miso. What's on the menu for Weihnacht dinner? Friday? I think it's Christmas. Oh, oh I, probably turkey. Ooh, that's really good, actually. Am I correct on that? A little more miso. Here you go, Rose. I think we're going to do a turkey. <laughs> Adrian says, technically, he still pronounced it with an accent. It's more like, oh, T-Z-W willing. For real? Twilling. Like the Z is pronounced differently over an English Z, but it's tough to describe. Oh, interesting. Twilling. Maybe. I'm just a caveman. Twilling. I don't know about these things. Now. Maybe that's why people are saying swilling, but maybe. it's more of a twilling. I just don't know. I just don't know. Greenhouse grown tomatoes at Costco, safe to consume. I think they are because they're greenhouse, so they don't use any pesticides on there. I don't know how tasty they are. If they're the Mighty Vine ones from Rochelle, Rochelle, Illinois, those are amazing. Want some more? What do you guys want from your fans for Christmas? Us? Laura wants to know. All we want is your support your friends. and spreading your love about Slave City. Maybe grab a couple extra copies of the cookbook for your uh, loved ones. And that's about it. Thank you for asking. Very sweet of you. Thank you much. But I really want you guys to stay healthy. So screenshot these vitamins. Come here. In my opinion, these are the best. Vitamin C, zinc, and D you can get. So right now, screenshot that. And to get the best price, use my Thrive Market promo code in the description box. These are very important. They're not cheap, especially the vitamin C but it's cheaper on Thrive Market than Amazon. Every single day. Very, very important for your immune system. Are you making latkes for, for Hanukkah? Yeah, I think we'll do a live stream latke. Maybe we'll do that next week. When does Hanukkah start? Starts on the 11th. Is that right, Jackie? The 11th, I think. Delicious, Rose. So. Some folks are buffering. We are not here. I know that. Yeah, thank God we're not having problems today. 10th, according to Sherry. Ah, 10th, Hedderton. okay. So these are the shirataki noodles. Check it out, Arthur. They're basically konjac flour noodles that are incredibly low carb. But for this recipe, you don't need to 
evaporate the moisture, but for most recipes you do. See how they're really packaged in water? If I was gonna use, use this for a pasta or for a stir fry, you have to put these noodles in a dry, non-stick ceramic pan and cook them for about eight minutes over medium-ish heat until all of the moisture evaporates. Otherwise, there's so much moisture in here, it will water down your sauce. But since we're making a soup, I don't care. You sound like Tom Brady. Yeah, I don't care. You gonna win a Cadillac? I don't care. So there's shake, shake. Oh, also what you have to do, I almost forgot. These tend to bundle together like a bird's nest. So what I like to do is just take my skizzers here and just give them a little snip. That way I don't get like a big bundle of noodles in my soup or in my pasta. It's a simple recipe. Once again, the recipe is not only in our first cookbook, Keto Meal Prep, it's on the blog. The link is in the description box. I want you guys to make this kind of stuff because it's healthy, it's hearty, you'll like it, you love it, you want some more of it, huh? Shane B says, I talk about Flav City on my dating profile, saying that's my hobby Woo! for watching grocery hauls. Funny story about that, one of my friends, Scott, he put a picture of me and him on his dating profile, and one of the girls contacted him and said, hey, that's Flav City. I'm like, I don't know if I like that, actually. <laughs> Can you remove that photo? They're using my likeness. Yeah, yeah you're using my likeness on match.com or whatever it is. Okay, well, so our soup the, is what pretty was the problem with that? What's the problem with that? Yeah. Well, just, I don't want people thinking that I'm single on there and ready oh, to mingle. Oh, okay. Right? Daddy's not single and ready to mingle, Rose. Uh-uh. I'm busy. I mean, what's the opposite of single and ready to mingle? I'm married and ready, ready to, to sleep. <laughs> ready to sleep. <laughs> right, Rose? Which way some more nuts? Look at ready your to cheap. snooze. Look at your ready to snooze, yeah. Look at your chompers, Rose. So Desi was giving these to Rose on Instagram earlier. These are fantastic sprouted seeds. And a lot of people get nervous because they're from China. I contacted the company. They're actually from Mongolia. And Mongolia is technically an autonomous region of China. And they're super high quality. They're not like your typical Chinese garbage. So don't worry about it. It's very, very good stuff. And the very hot, what's interesting is sprouted seeds like this. Look at the macros. Off the charts with phosphorus, magnesium, zinc. I mean, this is really good stuff, you guys. And Rusty's crushing it. Uh, question here. Lanika says, substitute for cashews in cheese sauce recipe. Mm. Cashews are not on the approved list for plant paradox. Maybe peely nuts? Mm. What's the plant paradox anyways? Dr. Gundry, that. even if you soak or sprout cashews, I'm not sure they're allowed, are they? Hmm, so what would you do? What's a good nut to substitute for cashew for a sauce? Not peely? Peely nut would be the most expensive, but yeah. Um, I wonder if like, um, whoops, did I do that? Um, macadamia nut maybe? I'm not sure if that'd be creamy enough. That's a good question. Susanna, season's greetings in advance, everyone. Where are you, wherever you are, keep safe, take care. She's watching down in uh, New South Wales, Australia, mm. Wollongong. Fantastic. Welcome, Susanna. Be on the lookout later this week. The next batch of Flav City Immunity is entering the Chicago warehouse and we'll ship it out on shopflavcity.com. If you're on the email list, you'll get an email. I'll announce it on social media and all that jazz. I think we only have 1,500 or 2,000, so they will go quick. And then we'll have another supply coming from uh, California. Hey, Scorpion. Bobby already said that those tomatoes are good. So Yeah, you got, you got it. Can you talk more about the vitamins again, says Rayan. Yeah, so really important for the immune system in this time of year is to take vitamins that really help the immune system. So I don't really take multivitamins and stuff like that. I'll take targeted vitamins. C, D, and zinc are very good at boosting your immune system. But a lot of vitamin C's, if you read the ingredients, the source of the vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Uh, Dr. Berg talks about bioavailability. The bioavailability of ascorbic acid is not that great, but when it comes from acerola, which is an amazing superfood uh, cherry from South America, acerola, camu camu, and amla, all of a sudden you see, whoa, can, 400% of my daily intake only coming from those. There's no crappy ingredients. It's a 
powder. You put two teaspoons in any kind of liquid, cold or hot, and it tastes fine. There's no natural flavors, but it tastes fine because of the acerola. This is the one you want to get. Truly natural health force. This is great. It's on Amazon, but I highly implore you to use my uh, Thrive Market link down below because it's cheaper on Thrive Market. So is the zinc. So is the vitamin D. Very important. Uh, and then every, obviously the collagen and everything else I get from Thrive Market is down there too. So use my link because you're not only supporting Thrive Market, who supports me, but you're getting the best stuff for cheaper than the grocery store. Richard Marcotte's in the house. Richie Bull, I had to sign your... Uh, your book yesterday, it's going out. Jill Chopsky, $20, made Desi's shortbread cookie recipe. It was so good. Everyone should try it. Next weekend, lemon cake. Go buy the cookbook all. Nice. Uh, Flavestudy.com. Flav oh, I'll tell you the story. Flavestudy.com has the shortbread recipe, the Christmas cookie recipe that Desi and Rose made. These are low sugar, diabetic friendly Christmas cookies that taste just as good as the real deal. Jill, who's such a great fan and friend, she tried to leave an Amazon review for the book because she actually bought it on Amazon. And she tried to post it and it said, we're not accepting your review because it's a biased review. And it's like, excuse me? So she tried to contact Amazon and they said, yeah, we can't accept it. So she really pressured them and eventually, right, Jill? They said, okay, we'll publish it. Is it up yet, Jill, off the check? But you believe that? How did, they, how did they like determine that it was biased? That's what I want to know. Yeah, Jill's not my member of my family. Jill doesn't work for Flav City. There's no affiliation there. Why are they saying her review is biased? I mean, number one, she's an independent Flav City fan. Of course, she loves us, but she's leaving a review. It's totally bogus. Another reason to uh, email uh, Bezos. I, I'm a little freaked out by the situation. Oh, it's a little freaky deaky. I don't know. Big tech seems a little freaky deaky this day. That's all I'm saying. Right, Rose? Can we show everyone the best maybe they, picture maybe of the book? Maybe they went to her Twitter account or something, and she says, you should buy this book, and I'll admit I am a little biased here. But well, in that case, she's okay. Rose, this is the best picture. Yeah, Look at this. Kidding. This Bezos. is baby and baby back ribs. Who's that, Rose? Is that you? Is that baby? Baby. Baby. It's you, baby. Yeah. So this, if you read this blurb here, and when you get the book, the story of that is that making this cookbook was very different than our first cookbook. Our first cookbook was just me, Dusty, and Art. But this one, Little Rostina, was all over us. And we didn't really have anyone to help us that much. Kara was here, there, here and there. But making all the recipes and then shooting them ourselves in the bedroom in our photography studio was very challenging because Rose was attached to our hip. And sometimes Rose would go to the table where the food was and go like this, shaking it like that while we're taking the photo. So I'd usually be holding her like this. And sometimes photos like the ribs or chicken would require me to also hold some of the food. So Rose would be in one hand, the food would be in the other. And in that rib photo, she was just a little jumping Jupiter. She would not sit still. So I'm like, you know what, forget about this. And I just tossed her under the camera Desi took the photo, and that was emblematic of making the book. It was dizzying, it was fun, it was challenging. We got it all done in a really small, small time frame, but it was awesome because we had the new addition to do it with, and it was hard, but super, super fun. Viviana wants to know, Bobby, what are your thoughts on CalMag citrate with vitamin D? Uh, I have to look it up. I haven't heard that one. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweet. Oh. Yes, tell me. Tell me, my sweet love bug. Oh, okay. Uh, Chopsky, oh, I'll nice. have to check if it's there. I will call every day. Oh, nice. <laughs> Jill won't relent. I love it. I love it. All right, look at this. I mean, they, come on, guys. Look, you give this to someone, you're like, hey, want some ramen? Ain't no MSG in here, right? There's no canola oil. That's fantastic. Oh, let's take another sample here, Roast, huh? Let's get a little, a little soupy. A little soupy. A little soupy. That is so good. Oh my God, perfect balance of heat, sweetness, sour, saltiness. I mean, it's basically done. We can simmer, simmer a little bit more. But I said Art and I have some food from earlier because if you didn't hear, we did a really cool video earlier called when to use certain pots and pans in your kitchen, how to clean them and how to care for them. And for each pot, I did a recipe. So the video took a long time, but it's coming out Friday. It's sponsored by Tramontina, who makes a great tri-ply stainless steel pan. Um, so we have right here, Art. Oh, we got a super chat. Oh, tell me. Milwaukee Brewer, $15. There are two Mongolias. 
an independent country and a region of China. Independent Mongolia uses the Cyrillic alphabet. Chinese Mongolia writes with characters. Really? That's interesting. So the question is, which Mongolia... Oh, wow. That, Ooh, that could, could have been, been really bad. bad. <laughs> uh, they said it was the autonomous region one. Yeah, I remember that. So it's the autonomous region. Cyrillic. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, Mongolia. So here uh, it is, Rose. Which meal prep service was Bobby talking about <laughs> when he approved... What? What meal prep service was Bobby oh, talking yeah. about when he approved off more than freshly? Can you expand why he's not a fan? What? Which one? Can someone confirm which is the meal kit delivery service that's 100% organic? That's the one that I like. I don't love it, but I love that everything is organic, non-GMO. I've, tr oh, oh, excuse man, me. I've tried Blue Apron, unimpressed. Um, what's that one I like? Another one, it's not organic, but the flavors are pretty good. Um, what's the one that Jamie Oliver uh, endorsed one time? Is it Freshly or? I, I don't remember. Which one's organic? Thank you. Ladybugs531, 499 Super Chat. Keep it up. Bicep Curl Pear. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I do. I sneeze very, very hard. Oh, there's a significant Mongolian population oh, yeah. in the Skokie Niles area. Hello know. Fresh. Flavors are very creative, but not organic. I believe. Freshly is the organic one. Your snooze can move, or your sneeze can move on. <laughs> Me. Well. Do you watch DJ Barbecue? Um, I, I used to watch him when Jamie Alvaro had Food Tube, but I haven't seen him in a while. Hello Fresh. The only, you know, Hello Fresh, yeah. The only people I really watch for cooking uh, is Jamie Oliver and Bobby Flay. That's about it. Guga. Google, yes. But uh, in terms of like really learning and getting inspiration, I think Jamie Oliver's top. Bobby Flay would be second. Okay. Oh, and I'm not making a mess or anything. What about this Snap great. Kitchen? Never heard of that one. Can't understand a word. Yeah. Because even though something like a HelloFresh has good flavor combinations, nothing's organic. The chicken's GMO. They probably use canola oil and stuff like that. So that's where my issues come in. What Issue about, number one. What about Pioneer Woman? Uh, have you seen the ingredients on her stuff at Walmart? That's all I'm going to say. I oh, I oh, I'm sorry. I love watching. We love watching Pioneer Woman. Saturday mornings, especially the quarantine episodes that her kids film. Her food at the grocery store, not so much. Herself, we love her. Stangman's in the house. Running late. Bike ride. Hi, Art and Bobby. Nice, Stangman. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, Holmes. What about Sun Basket or Green Chef? No Green them. Chef, that's the organic one. Green Chef is the USDA organic one. Um, the flavors are pretty good. Not as good as HelloFresh, but everything is organic. Uh, the other one I don't know about, actually. Hey, Speedy, we don't have sprouts around here, so no can do Yeah, it. no sprouts here. But I did a sprouts haul uh, a year ago, so search Flav City Sprouts. It's a pretty interesting place. Okay. So we did the video earlier about... So basically, I took a cast iron pan, a nonstick pan... A uh, Teflon pan and a ceramic pan and a cast iron pan. And I told you when to use each one, how to actually do a recipe in each, how to cook, how to clean and care for them. And so that video is coming out Friday, but I have leftover grass fed steak. I have leftover uh, pork fried rice. Let's put that maybe in the base of our uh, soup and we'll have a complete meal in a bowl. Ellen Girl, how often do you miss it? What do you, how often do I miss what? Pioneer Woman? I never tune in. Art doesn't watch it. Desi and I try to watch it every... I, I, I used uh, to see or, it here and there. I haven't yeah. watched Food Network in a long time. How do you feel about electric smokers? Um, I'm the wrong guy to ask. Yeah, I don't know about that. How do you feel about it, Art? Oh, how often do I miss my chin? Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Nice. Whoa, look at that mess. That's all roasting. Oh, roasting. I don't miss anything. Don't miss my chin. I will get a smoker when we buy a new house, for sure. So I want to have a smoker. Well, to be honest, maybe Chris can answer this. Would you consider a Traeger grill a smoker too? Because it can't smoke with the wood pellets? Or is it different to get an actual smoker too? What do you think? I mean, that's what the Traeger is primarily used for. For smoking, right? Yeah. So I, I want to get a Traeger I think, style. I think you need to get a grill and yes. then some choice of smoker. That's my opinion. So what if you got a gas grill and a Traeger? Is that considered a smoker? I don't think... You would probably be happy since you're not into charcoal. So, but you don't if you think got, I'd be if you happy. Room, I would say get a get a Weber on top of that. So get three. Yeah, but I don't. You said I don't like charcoal, so a Traeger would be good, right? 
Right, get a gas grill for your general yeah. grilling, yeah. Traeger for what yes. you're going to smoke. Yeah. Now, Stangman says get an offset smoker and a Weber kettle. So, I don't really do, okay, I don't, I don't uh, Chris, I don't really do uh, charcoal. I don't have time for that, unfortunately, but I think a gas grill, like Art said, and a Traeger would be the call. All right, add that to the list for the next house. That'll, that'll happen for sure. That list is getting about as big <laughs> as the list of movies I haven't seen. <laughs> That's a pretty big list. Pretty, pretty, pretty big. What's up, Maxine? Welcome. All right. This is a great Tuesday live stream because the mess is minimal, the flavor is maximal, and the cleanup is easy. All right? You get the max for the minimum, minimum price. <laughs> Don't want to miss a thing. We're just talking about that song, young girl. Not that you were referring to that, but. Uh, Don't want to close my eyes. <laughs> you gotta go really loud if you're gonna do Steven Tyler. I don't want to go out really loud right now. Ah, my toe. Art, have you seen Star Wars? You better believe it. I have. We were just talking about the other day. Actually. We were talking about that the other day. I'm not a big Star Wars person. I believe I've seen the first one, but that's about it. I'm just not a fan. I'm like Elaine. Like karaoke name. <laughs> I'm like Elaine in Seinfeld. Not a fan. <laughs> like the lima beans. Yeah. Traeger. Oh, here's Stangman's opinion. Traeger are for lazy cooks, and in my opinion, I'm old school BBQ Texas style. Okay, well, I'm not old school. I wouldn't say I'm lazy, but I do like, you know, shortcuts. So it sounds like Traeger's for me, or a pellet grill in general. I will get a gas grill, and I'll get a pellet grill. And on that topic, there can be no debate. Uh, Renee Denham juiced 10 pomegranates. Wow. Yeah, that's great. So check this out. This is one of my favorite things to get at... Uh, Costco. It's a six pack of the Palm Wonderful. There's two and a half cups of seeds. They're called, I think they're aerials in here. You can juice them. Put them in the uh, blender with a little shot of water. Amazing stuff. Amazing. Do you like spirulina? Um, I do. I just don't use it very often, but I believe it's in the new greens powder. Where'd my greens powder go? Yeah, I, I think it is good for you, but guys, coming out this week is this. It's Prebiotic Daily Greens from Laird. I'll have a promo code for you. I've been taking this every day since they sent it to me. This is an organic greens, superfood mushroom, and prebiotic mix. Ingredients are amazing. Has anyone heard of Himalayan Shilajit? It's to crazy, Shilajit crazy. Yeah, hey, it, it's hey. crazy stuff. And here's the ingredients. Look. My head. Kale, blueberry powder, lemon powder. Is there spirulina in here? Moringa, wheatgrass. This one doesn't have a uh, spirulina, but prebiotics, banana powder, sweet potato powder, mushrooms. Amazing. This is such a great daily supplement. I highly recommend to get it when it comes out later this week with my promo code because I've been looking for a greens powder, but all the good ones on the market have natural flavors and homie don't play that game. Ed, right? Anthony's first time here. Welcome, Ed. Welcome, welcome. City live stream newbie. Uh, mark your calendars. We'll be live this week today. Thursday night, Friday night, and then we also have four videos going live this week. We have seven pieces of content going live this week. Dios mios, loco en la cabeza. How do we do it? Sometimes I don't even know, to be honest. Exactly. That's how I feel sometimes. Okie dokie. Let's try to do a little cleanup here to make life easier. Ooh, there's like... Schmutz all over the floor here. Quincy, D's son, uh, Quincy, wanted some Bobby Kefta. This is the way. Oh, nice. I know Quincy loves that. It's Taco Tuesday here in Austin, Stangman. Sounds good, Stangman. Stangman, what was that place we went to to eat down there? A bunch of tacos. and It was in that like office building with the bottom floors. Oh, yeah, that food court. Yeah. Taco, whatever taco I had was really good. That food court. That yeah. was good. I remember that. They were like upscale gourmet street tacos. They were very good. Gotta, Jose, no lay. Bless both. I'm going to get the, you, uh, the dust pan. Go selfie style. Say hi, Art. All right. Welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's having a pleasant Taco Tuesday wherever you're at. And if it's Wednesday where you're at, eat a taco right now. Is I don't care. Uh, can you mail me one of your signed cookbooks, please? It's Tuesday Ramen. Susan Board. 
We're gonna have uh, more cookbooks at some point here. At some point. Audio sounded bad. I don't know what that I hope means. not. I hope that's not the, uh, hope that's not the trend. The trend is your friend. You ever heard that, Art? The what? The trend is your friend. Sure. I'm fine <laughs> with that. Siete, siete tocos. That's what it was called? What's that? The segment says siete tocos. Oh. That's part of the taco joint. But what's that whole uh, dining hall called? They had all this different food there. That was pretty cool. And uh, Shana met us there. Shana Hickman Photography met us there. It was fun. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, everyone. Art mic sounds bad. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Young Willem Dafoe. Here we go. Let's see here. Suja, Suja Juice. Yes or no? Oh, yeah. Suja is the best cold pressed. It's called the Underground. Uh, oh, very cool. On the market. That's what kids should be drinking, not pasteurized apple and grape juice. Get them suja, either the greens or the one that has a little added fruit to it. They have a new um, sparkling cold press one that's low sugar that is fantastic. They actually sent me some because I uh, tagged them in a story. It was really good. Okay, let's get rid of this. KF says, Art, what's up with the beard? I know those initials. Is this the KF I know? I don't know if you've got an ID here. Oh, what's up with the beard? I just felt like growing it. But I recognize those initials. Ah, sounds like some inside information. Here. I wonder. Julio, you, $2 super chat. Buy Bitcoin because the yearly chart is your friend. Dude, I listened to a podcast from Peter Schiff. I think it was six months ago, and Bitcoin was at 9,000. He said it's going to double in the next 12 months. I should have bought it because it freaking doubled. I'm so pissed. I think I still own uh, Ethereum and Ripple from a while back, but I should have bought Bitcoin. Those, Bitcoin will go to 100,000 in the next 10 years, I can guarantee. Are you going to start mining for Bitcoin? In your new house, you're going to have a room, room house. devoted to, surfers, to in, surfers. In the new house, we'll have a Bitcoin mining room. Art looks like that actor Matthew McConaughey. I Whoa, think, that's a new I, one. I've never heard that, and I don't agree with that at all. I don't see that whatsoever. All right, all right, all right. Another I said all right, all right, all right before. All right, so check this out. This is pasture-raised ground pork um, with uh, wild rice. We made fried rice earlier for the video. Uh, there was a lot more rice in here, but it was eaten. This is so good. This is uh, the pork from... Uh, oh, um, What's it called? All Grass Farms. Unbelievable. So I'm going to put that in the base of the bowl. And then we have some of this yummy steak here that we made too in a cast iron pan. Just showing how to use it and how to clean it. Because sometimes you'll make a steak or something in a cast iron pan. And the bits are so stuck on the bottom that just washing in a hot water doesn't work. So you've got to boil hot water, dry it. Heat it on the stove, put oil in, heat it again, wipe all the oil out to re-season it. Yeah, Alan girl, I didn't see if you mentioned uh, earlier or not. I just see your reply to Rebecca Rob here. Yeah, rest in peace, Diego Maradona. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the yeah, uh, football sucks. player. Did you hear that, like, some of the uh, funeral home workers took a selfie with the dead body? Gosh, no. Like, they got fired for that. Oh, it's like, man. really? Like, come on, dude. How disrespectful. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear that one. How disrespectful can you be? So I just put some of this grass-fed. This was a ribeye into the bowl too. So we're having pork and beef ramen, but done a little differently. I think Jeffrey's gonna like it. Oh, I guarantee you. Let's see. Man, it's pitch dark out right now. It's so depressing. Like the soccer pitch? <laughs> yeah. That's, another, pretty, that's pretty green. Another Maradona reference. When Desi and I were in Buenos Aires about uh, six years ago, I remember seeing the Maradona like murals everywhere. He's like the Jordan down there. It's crazy. Jordan for three. Yes. Okay, so we have that. I could cut more steak if I need it. Good. Uh, staying man, I do not believe it's snowing in Chicago. We got some snow the other day, the snow flurries. Yeah, it ain't snowing. At least in the burbs, but uh, nothing yet. Nah. Nothing to write home about. Nah, 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 nah. Don't write home about nothing. Ah, okay, Alan girl. Thanks for that explanation. Ah. Oh. 
Hey, uh, Chris, what part of Austin does Joe Rogan have his new studio for his podcast? Him? I love it. Raise your hand if you listen to Joe Rogan podcast. It's so awesome. He has the best guests on there. It's so interesting. I How love often it. does he do it? Every day? No, I'd say about three or four days a week. Okay. But he's taking a break right now. There hasn't been a new one in a couple weeks. Oh, okay, so check it out, Art. Check it out. Oh, uh, brother. The funk. So, oh, come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Feel it, feel it. Look at that. Forget about it. That looks good. Thank you so much. What's so funny? Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. A lot of snow in Maine, says Deborah. Uh, Madeline says hi, Flav City. She is still working and wants to be here. Oh, thank you, Jill. Tell her we said hello to Maddie. We look forward to seeing her soon. Okay. When, uh, when you re-season cast iron on the stovetop, watch out for the oil temperatures. You don't burn yourself. Some people are using tongs to hold the paper toweling. Yeah, you want to use tongs. You have to use tongs. We did that in the video. That's a must. Tis a must. Same thing when art re-seasons or just cleans the, uh, the uh, carbon steel pan. Same thing. Okay, so now we'll take... Look at this. We got the base. The base has the beef and the pork there. We'll take our lovely soup here. I mean, come on, this is gonna be great. Uh, this is 100% keto. FYI, I. extra I is for, oh my God. That made no sense. Beautiful. Loaded with all that yummy collagen in there. This is gut friendly food. This is what you wanna eat, y'all. So Joe Rogan used to be in California? Yeah, he moved from California because of all the crazy stuff happening there. And Texas too, I'm sure. Everyone's moving to Austin and Texas in general, right? Quite a few. Staying man was way, way ahead of the game. He's a pioneer, some might say. That's the bumper sticker, don't California my Texas. Yeah, I heard about that actually, it's pretty funny. Fill this guy up here. Thank you so much, Debbie. I think he lived in L.A. He was usually at the comedy club in Hollywood. So yeah, yeah, he was in L.A. for sure. But he said comedy in L.A. is dead forever. It's never going to come back. He's going to buy a comedy uh, club in Austin, and then everyone's going to be there. Oh. Yeah. Smart dude. I mean, from MMA to Fear Factor to podcasting to Spotify, the guy's so, so blessed. All right, there it is, you guys. Yeah. Easy, yeah. healthy, ramen Easy soup. peasy, lemon, lemon squeezy. squeezy. Look at that, Rusty. Does that look good? Is it hot? Is it hot, right? Saying man says, don't move to Austin. Oh, wow. <laughs> Isn't that hot? Oh, yes. It looks good, right? Come on, it's hot. That's right, Alan, girl. You got that money. Not hard to. Yes. It's hot. Yes, sweetie. <laughs> uh, Jill wants to know, where is Desi? <laughs> Uh, Desi's in the bedroom working on the Bobby Approved app right now. All right, I want Art to try this test. Can you hold the camera for a second? All right, everyone say hello to Tess and thank her for holding the camera. Okay. Welcome on ATA the third. I don't need some spoon. Oh, you got one for yourself? Yeah, I got one here. What is the size of my Dutch oven? This is the seven and a half quart La Crusade. I like it. Um, but if you want the economical option, Cooks Illustrator recommends. Cuisinart Chef's... Uh... Dutch oven. Yeah, the Cuisinart one. This is how many cups or quarts? Seven and a half quarts. I think there's a seven-ish. Maybe a little smaller. It's all good. Javier, five dollars. Hi from Boston. I, I started that. to use homemade almond milk. Do you have a recipe on what to do with the leftover almond afterwards? I don't have a recipe, but you could actually toss that into your protein smoothies for extra uh, fiber. Or you could actually make a porridge out of that. Cook it with like coconut cream, put pumpkin spices in there. It could be lovely. Maybe offset it with some hemp seeds um, or some quinoa. Maybe Yeti makes an insulated bowl so you don't burn yourself on it. Not a bad idea. That would be idea. good right now. A, is, Joe Rogan's a huge fan of Yeti. Actually. I'm a huge fan of Yeti. <laughs> Funny story. Someone gave me Yeti, a Yeti cooler. Arthur Almas. <laughs> someone gave me a Yeti cooler one time and we don't use coolers and I didn't even know what... Like, I didn't even know what Yeti was, really. So I just gave it to Art. $600 cooler. Yeah, and then I, I saw it at, like online or some store. I'm like, holy crap, I gave Art a $400 cooler? I'm like, well, still, I don't have anything I can do with it, but... This is quite nice. Is quite. It, is it quite, very nice? Quite. Very nice. How about you, Russ? delicious. 
Uh, Jay, the immune tea powder okay. is coming back Thursday or Friday. We sold out of the first batch of immune tea in 10 hours. It's coming back at shopflavecity.com later this week. Immune system boosting tea powder with lemon, turmeric, monk fruit, MCT, oil powder, ginger, cayenne pepper, and black pepper. The real deal, y'all. That's immune boosting. The mushrooms are giving a real nice flavor to this. Would you say umami? There's a little bit of umami in there. Just a little bit. You don't want too much. It's like uh, grace. You want some grace. Exactly. And grace isn't something that you can acquire. You're either <laughs> born with grace. You either have grace or you don't have grace. That's a great point. All right. That's a great point. Look, I don't have grace. I don't even say grace. Uh, <laughs> Seinfeld. Been, drinking of, uh, been thinking of drinking green tea during the week. Organic green tea is a must. Organic tea in general is a must. I love jasmine. China organic jasmine green tea is lovely. Wow. That's delicious. That is nice. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jill's going to Austin in April. Very nice. Rebecca was on IG. People posting they got their immune tea. I haven't gotten mine yet. Hoping today. Yeah, I saw them tagging us. Thank you for that, Rebecca. I'm pretty sure you'll have yours too. Mm-hmm. Bobby, clean dish soap you recommend. I actually buy my dish soap from Thrive Market. Mama. I get the uh, seventh generation. Mama. I like that one. And the price is uh, cheaper on uh, Thrive Market than uh, anywhere else. Oh, fantastico. Delicious. Mm -hmm. No cilantro. No, nah, no cilantro for this one. I need the email address for the immunity. Um, just go to shopflavecity.com. There might be an uh, email sign up on there. Mm. Mm. How sweet be? Mm. Can I get you a piece of steak out of here, Rose? Mm. Oh, look at that. It's got your name on it right there, Rose. Mm -hmm. It says Rose Honey. That's nice. And the addition of the protein is just lovely. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, where'd your steak go? My steak is well done now, though. It is. It's okay. It's, it's like shabu shabu. Have you ever done that? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I can't understand a word. Art is in denial that he resembles McConaughey. The dimples and his mischievous smile. Interesting. Here, okay. Send me a, a picture of McConaughey that you think is invocative of me. Ugh. Or I guess a picture of me that's invocative. Of yeah, I didn't do the hard-boiled egg or the soft-boiled egg. I was just a little too lazy tonight. But in the cookbook right here, Tess, in the first one, we put the uh, soft-boiled ramen egg. Very easy to make. It just makes it lovely when the yolk gets in the broth there. And it's served with... Let me put you down, Rose. It's served with the uh, lettuce wraps. I'll, I'll give you some more, Rose. Here you go. Whee! What up with that? What up with that? Mm-hmm. All right. Great live stream, fam. Mm. I'm forgetting that we need to keep talking. This is delicious. I Roxana, it. is there a pesto you recommend? So, Roxana, I will tell you, my dear, but also let me show you. So, the new cookbook is really a, a first of its kind because in addition to having recipes, all my shopping tips are in there. So I actually tell you exactly what brands to get and what to look for when you're getting brands in the grocery store. So five ingredient semi-homemade meals. Amazon link in description box or just search uh, Flav City on Amazon. Let me show you a really cool five ingredient recipe called chicken and veggie pesto plate. Oh, she's choking. Sure. You okay, Rose? Chew, 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 my sweetie. Good. Thank you. Okay. So chicken and veggie pesto plate. <laughs> Chicken and veggie pesto plate. Let's see where this is here. Uh, not in that chapter. Yeah, let's put this over here. You don't need that one, Rosie. There's enough steak in the soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Where the heck is it? I'll go to the uh, back here. So the three best are Gotham Greens, Dilalo, and uh, Mazetta. Let me see here. Where is this thing? Chicken, chicken, chicken. Pesto veggie, 72. Here we go. I know my book so well, don't I? 72. Oh, I'm having a hard time finding this page. Okay, so chicken, pesto, and veggies. Five ingredients. It's a grain packet from Aldi or a best-in-class one from other stores. I tell you what to look for. Cooked with Pesto, water, chicken breast, cherry tomatoes, actually from um, that uh, greenhouse company we were talking about, um, Mighty Vine, and baby broccoli. And when you're 
going there. I said, most store-bought pestos have highly processed oils. My favorite are Mazetta, Gotham, and Dilalo. If you can't find these brands, look for olive oil, or at least if they're using sunflower or canola, make sure it's expeller pressed, non-GMO, very important. All recipes have macros, photos, and all that other good jazz. So check out the cookbook and please leave an Amazon review when you buy it. Okay. That is it, y'all. Awesome time hanging with y'all. We'll be back on Thursday and Friday. We got more YouTube videos dropping on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Crazy, crazy. I don't know how we're doing it, but we're doing it. Crazy is all right. Crazy is all right. Uh, let's show some love to Thrive Market, right? They've been sponsoring the channel for five years. They have the greatest stuff from the grocery store, cheaper. Use my link right below the video. Right here's my link, Tess. Click my link. You get a free gift when you sign up. It's 30 days risk-free. Check it out. Recipe for the ramen is there. Cookbook link is there. And if you want to use my, our limited edition hand lotion, it's right there. Promo code Flav City. So that is it for all of us at Flav City HQ. Great time hanging out. Can we say bye, Rose? Bye, everyone. All right. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Laters. See ya. This is good roasting. Mm-hmm. Mm. Insane